triumphant tale of art and of history unfolds in the chrysalis, a novel by Heather Terrell. Welcome, Heather. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. What's the chrysalis about? The chrysalis is a journey, uh, one that begins with a 17th century Dutch masterpiece, uh, a portrait of the Virgin Mary that brims with religious symbols. The painting is about to go on the auction block, but then a woman comes forward claiming that the painting belonged to her father whose art collection and life was stolen by the Nazis. The auction house hires Mara Coyne, a young lawyer on the cusp of partnership, to defend it against the accusations. Yet as Mara delves into the case, she uncovers the painting's true provenance, and along with it, some disturbing truths about the art world and possibly her client. But it's a journey that also takes us to 17th century Holland, where a struggling painter is creating the luminous chrysalis, imbuing it with a personal and religious iconography that will dictate its fate and jeopardize his career. It's a journey that also brings us to World War II Amsterdam, where the plaintiff's wealthy family is protecting the chrysalis at the cost of their freedom. Finally, it's really a, a journey that culminates with the challenge. Um, will Mara Coyne have the fortitude to right the wrongs of history? Tell us what historical and art research you did for this book. Well, I started with the wide-scale Nazi plunder of artwork throughout Europe during World War II. And then I turned my attention to the golden age of Dutch painting, focusing on really two areas. First, the 17th century Dutch painters themselves. And then I focused on the symbolism in the Dutch paintings. Um, I was captivated by the idea that the chrysalis's fate would be dictated by its iconography and the Dutch painting symbolism, which have hidden stories that lie beneath their deceptively simple scenes, seemed perfect for that. The story shuttles back and forth between the historical past and the present. Why did you choose to tell the story this way? Well, in part, the chrysalis is about the way that the past resonates in our everyday lives, sometimes in ways of which we're unaware. So it seemed appropriate to demonstrate that by weaving the past in with the present in the mm -hmm. book. Did the complex world of art collectors inspire you to write this novel? The rarefied world of high-end art collecting, the museums, the auction houses, the art dealers, and of course the purchasers, is, is really cloaked in mystery, closed off to outsiders by a cult of secrecy. And it really seemed a ripe setting to insert the legal and moral quandary at the heart of the chrysalis. How does the element of romance play into your story? Well, Mara Coyne learns that the in-house attorney for her client, the auction house Beasley's, is a man that she knows from college, a man for whom she once had an attraction. But beyond that, I cannot reveal too much without giving away the story. You've been a very successful litigator. Um, what prompted you to try your hand at fiction? A close friend and then colleague asked me a question. Would there ever be a client that I would decline to represent on moral grounds? even though that client might have a strong legal basis for the position it wanted to advocate. The question stayed with me over the weeks and months that followed, and I began to think about whether such a client really did exist for me. And I came across around that time um, an article which described the emergence of a few cases in which families of Holocaust victims were seeking to recoup stolen artwork. I did some research, and I learned that there were some inequities inherent in the law in that area. So I had an answer to my friend's question. If I were ever asked to represent a client seeking to keep artwork from families of Holocaust victims, I hope I would have the strength to decline, even though precedent might support their position. But I began to think that this moral and legal conflict might make an interesting story. Past and present converge in the landmark court case in the chrysalis. Discover the powerful story she weaves in Heather Terrell's debut novel.